to the wife. I would have never thought that a man would come and hit a woman, especially especially on the road and in public and in broad daylight. There's just no... I mean, where does it stop? Get away from her! Get away from her! After Brad got beaten, the gentleman came towards me and started hitting me um, in both temples. I know he had the camera at one stage and that's where the, all the footage you have is just like on the ground with feet everywhere um, and that's actually while he was hitting me and I didn't know what to do, I just had no idea what was even happening, it was all so quick. We were just driving around a roundabout and we had the right of way because we were in the roundabout and as we did that another car came, they didn't give way to us and they just basically almost t-boned us. That's when my husband just got out of the car and said, what's going on? And this um, whole family, the gentleman that you saw in the footage, ran up to my husband with a big black metal mag light and started hitting him over the head with it. Take it easy, mate. You punched me! I punched your wife! Get away from me! I tell you, you will not swear, you keep swearing! You touched my wife, I'll kill you! This man just started beating me! Come on! Your wife! Come on! Just take it easy. Don't do anything you're gonna regret! Come on! Get on camera? Uh, after the witnesses all came, we got everyone just came up to us and gave us all these phone numbers and names and business cards and they said call us, we saw everything and after that we went to the police station, my husband and I. As dramatic as the whole event was and as frightening and all the injuries we got, I think we both, my husband and I, would still take our camera and still film people like this. If I didn't have the camera there'd be no evidence. I wouldn't have very much to say to him at all. Um, if anything, I'd say that maybe he should get some anger management classes and to start realising he has other people's lives in his hands when he's driving. Not only him, he's also got his family in the car and other people all around him. He's not in a bubble and he's not invincible.